and finally home, I was hospital. As usual, you know. Let me rest five minutes, then uh, get your things and come in the office. Now, clearly, you haven't understood the main point. When one can't figure the antiderivative of an integral function, one uses the integration by parts. Here, for example. Now, we don't know how to calculate the antiderivative of x cosine of x. But since we know the product, we can try the calculation of the integration by parts. Suppose that u prime of x equals cosine x and v of x equals x. Idle youth, by all things enslaved, through sensitivity I've wasted my days. Thus, I let the moment come when hearts love as one. I told myself, wait and let no one see. And without the promise of true ecstasy, let nothing delay this hiding away. I've been patient so long. I've forgotten even the terror and suffering flown up to heaven. A sick thirst again darkens my veins. So the meadow, freed by neglect, flowered, overgrown, with weeds and incense, to the buzzing nearby of a hundred foul flies. Ah, thousand widowhoods of a soul so poor it bears only the image of a lady before. Does one then pray to the virgin today? Idle youth, by all things Lucille. enslaved. Lucille! It's 8.05. Excuse me, I didn't hear, I was reading. If you wish to read, do so in the evening after supper. Yes, father. Next time you go without supper, if you insist on arriving late. Such a storm this morning. The weather is crazy. When I was young, it never went this time of year. Human beings consume too much. We are suffocating the planet. Can they prove it scientifically, Dad? Yes, naturally. If you'd like to learn more, I could give you an advanced text on meteorology. For your 18th birthday. For my birthday? That would be a good practical present. Yes, but... Practical but... and educational. A far cry from our advertising TV culture. What I'd really like to do is to go to college. That would be educational, to study poetry. Poetry? Yeah, Oscar Wilde, Rimbaud, Baudelaire, and literature too. What good is studying literature and poetry? You can read yourself and that's sufficient. Oscar Wilde doesn't deserve all the attention you give him. The man was a pervert. And it's just as well that he was imprisoned. And if you'd like to write poetry, you can do it to your heart's content right here at home. But I'd learn more if I went away to college. Not really. One doesn't learn as effectively in a group setting. But since you really don't like teaching me poetry... You'd and... be better off with the sciences. You could help me here. Before, you wanted to be a doctor like me. I've changed my mind. And that's just the problem. You never stick with anything. Remember what happened when you were 12? You wanted to go away to boarding school, but you were back home three months later. You told me that you couldn't make any friends and that you cried yourself to sleep each night. 
Isn't that right? My mother was sick those two long years. I'm good at studying literature and poetry. My father asked me... Uh, you can read yourself and that's sufficient. To come and take care of you. The man was a pervert. And it's just as well that he was imprisoned. But I couldn't come then. Now clearly you haven't understood the main point. You'd be better off with the sciences. Write poetry, you can do it to your heart's content right here at home. Calabria, the mountains. When I was 15, my parents sent me to my uncles in Boston. I imagine you must resemble your mother. Yes. In our family, too, the girls always resemble their mother. Let me show you to others. <laughs> I'm sorry. Dr. Bert's office. Thank you. Come in. Please, be seated, Miss Genova. You're later than we expected you. Yes, I'm so sorry. 
I shall explain the situation. One week ago, my daughter had an accident. She suffered third degree burns on her face and tissue loss around her left cheek and nose. After first making an incision, I treated her most serious wounds with a series of allografts, through which I've avoided any serious hydroelectrical complications. She has no respiratory complications, but you must nonetheless observe closely to forestall any hypermetabolization, guard against infection, and uh, help her maintain nutritional levels. I would like her watched 24 hours a day. I shall remain with her as much as is necessary. In this house, I do not wish to hear any mention of the hospital. Yes. Of course. I will show you to your room. Those are Italian shoes, right? Yes. Very good. Lucille, your nurse has arrived. Come in. Good morning, Lucille. She remains in a state of shock. Mutism and paralysis of the extremities. Bandages, compasses, disinfection, sodium chloride solution. Cortisone, everything you need is right here. Very good. We will give her six of these and two capsules four times a day. I must leave now. I'll be back at 6.30 sharp if I have no emergencies.
She has not had any problems. She refused to eat. You may leave us now. Lucien, my dear, you know that today is your birthday. I'll heal you quickly. I promise you. Just look at your present.
Your mother made me promise that I'd give them to you on your 18th birthday. I'll keep them for you, just for now. Soon everything will be just as it was. I'm sure of it. something hurting that itches is that it that doesn't itch anymore look at me breathe deeply now Zergomatic is major. 39. Zergomatic is minor. 
31. Levator anguli ores. Eighteen masseter twenty eight. Got it. You will apply this cream twice a day, it will regenerate the tissue underneath the bandage. the same scarring. Look at this. These idiots. Incompetence. Lucille will have no scars. Not like Anna. Began with the tissue sample followed by an ablation. They were never sure of anything so they cut. In the end they gave her back to me covered with scars without ever having healed her. My poor thing. I should have kept her at home. You would have taken good care of her. I'll be back. Above all, don't put this one back in the cage with the others. Poor Lucille. I should make her one of her favorite dinners. Give her this injection. Above all, keep an eye on her breathing. I can't possibly take it from you. 
but she really wants you to have it. Here, take this book on reconstructive plastic surgery. It's incomplete, of course. Thank you. Like all the other books, they haven't included my new research, so they are a bit outdated. Yes, I'm sure. I'm thinking that you must be up to date. Lucille Yes, that is how so. Because of her attempted suicide. You have too much imagination. I know that it can't be easy for a father to understand Foolish. that it's... But she's the one who told Enough. me. How can you... So that will do. I do not require a lecture from you. Do I make myself clear? Yes. No, no, no. I have no more use for you. You slow me down more than you help me. yourself. Your pulse is low. If that continues, you have to talk to Lucille's father. Anyway, you can get him to listen to you. And I never saw it coming. My God. You have to promise not to worry yourself for Lucille. What happened was in the past. I'm here to help her now. Yes, but poor Arthur. You must not hold it against him. I never expected that reaction. He adores his daughter. He doesn't want to see any harm to come her. Yes, I never doubted that. But Lucille is the same as him. 
She can forgive herself for causing him pain. Will you be okay? Yes. I'm going to go and comfort her. No, this is my job. I'm the one who should be doing it. And besides that, it's not good for you. What is this ointment made from? Growth proteins, antihistamines as well. Makes it easier for the graft to take by accelerating the uniform budding of the skin. Come see, I'll explain it to you. What you see here is much more than a simple culture of keratinocytes and a bed of fibroblasts. You'll find all the different strata of the skin. The epidermis here, the basal layer of course. Collagen that attaches the epidermis to the dermis as you know. Melanocytes. And above all the different proteins and cells. Why not use the skin you have taken from other parts of her body? To end up with a leopard skin, blemishes and scars everywhere? You've seen the terrible results they end up with at the hospital. 
Yes, unfortunately. I've uncovered all the properties of the skin. Resilience, flexibility, regeneration. The sensitivity to touch, pigmentation, nutrition, it's all there. Perfectly reconstituted skin. Very impressive. Tomorrow will be our day. Sleep well tonight. Are you alright? Do you think you can stand? Come on, next time we...
Please do it like you did yesterday. You may leave us. No, stay. Help her to sit on the edge, please. Seventy by hundred ten, a little bit low. You uh, will give her these in addition to the others. She reads to regain muscle mass. Surely there are other ways than the medication. She's getting enough nourishment now. Yeah, I can't stand swallowing these pills. <laughs> Very well. Since you're doing so much better, I'm sure you can do without them. Any more problems with the pulse rate? I'm sorry. I got a little bit carried away before. Only three minutes left. Are you baking a cake? In the kitchen at least I'm still useful. Oh, well, I don't know how they got by around here before you came. Both things. For them dinners, canned food. They would never survive without you. <laughs> I'm worn now. Tired. I'd like to be with Jan. It's time that he calls me back to him. No, no, don't say that. Mmm, <gasps> it smells good. No, you go and surprise her.
Muscles. I miss them so much. Do you like it? It smells delicious. I have to learn how to cook so I can make them myself. I'll show you. That might come in handy. Dad, when will you take off the last bandages? In three days. I've got to check the results and reduce the bandage once more. In one more week, you will feel the fresh air on your face. And you'll be finally able to see what I look like. I can't imagine. You will have some micro scars. They'll be only noticeable to the touch and they will be all but indistinguishable before you know it. You're the best dad. I know you succeed. Mm -hmm. I didn't know what to do with myself, you know, before you came. I mean, I felt so alone. I've never got to see anybody else, just him and her. And I'm really glad that you're here. Parker has learned his lesson. After what happened to him all this time? What happened to him? Accident in the car. A, a bad one. He was trying to. He barely got out alive. So many broken bones. But he hung on to life. And he rediscovered his faith. Well, and all the carrying on with the married women, it's all over. Yes, he realized he was in the slippery slope. Too bad. Don't you think he was sexier before? No. <laughs> no, it's Betty was the problems. <laughs> well, anyway, it's their lives and they should do what they want. That's all she had to say to bring out the so-called chivalry of a young man who thinks he's an idealist and feels he has to live up to the role. Is that what you think of our son? Where's Jo? She's in the lab. I thought you'd hired her to take care of me. Since you don't need her anymore, she's going to help me. It's just like with the other babysitters. Each year you found a new one and they were never good enough for you. Stop it. I need her as an assistant.
Lucy. Lucy. Oh God, are you all right? Hold on me.
all have to be removed. It was not irrigated. But she still can be healed. Of course. But I need living skin this time. I want to stay like this forever. I know. Skin is so soft, so sweet. Oh, you smell so good. Oh. Oh. In your skin, now it's in the mouth like chocolate. Oh. Your face, it should be in a Michelangelo or something. I can't believe how soft and white your breasts are. Such compliments. You spoiled me. I want to know everything about you. There's not so much to know. Oh, like... Have you ever been in love before? Yes. What? Who was it?
And did you let her touch you like that? No. Never like that. Was it better than with me? No. Never this intense. And, uh... Were you two together a long time? Until my mother caught us. What? She sent me away to Boston. She separated you from your love? So mean! She never told anyone about this. She was too ashamed. She banished me like I had the plague. So she made up an excuse that I was going to marry my cousin in Boston. Oh. Ah. Did you marry him? Of course not. I refused. <gasps> After? Nothing. You. Ah. You were waiting for me? Yes. I was waiting for you. Me too. I was waiting for you. Never been in love for real. Girls my age, one or two I met, they all seem so stupid. Mary, you didn't meet a lot of them. I like older women. That means if I would be younger, you wouldn't have fallen in love with me. Yes, I would have. As soon as I saw you, I fell in love with you. And then, by common accord, they glide towards each other on the water. The female shark using its fins and Maldor cleaving the waves with his arms. And they hold their breath in deep veneration, each one wishing to gaze for the first time upon the other, his living portrait. You should show me some of your poems. Do you really want to see them? Yes, of course. I might want to. Later, after my face is healed, and we're far away from here.
How do you feel? Still tired. And you? I feel fine. That says I'm recovering fast. Good. It's always taken me a long time to hear from anything. Presented by Does, the soap that does everything in your washing machine. And Ivory Soap, the most famous soap in the world. Looking from left to right, Harriet and Gwendolyn. Don't you think Harriet has an outstanding complexion? Well, Ivory is her beauty soap. Now, don't be hurt, Gwendolyn. You can have that Ivory look yourself. Why, pure, mild ivory offers... And now, a little snack. Just a simple change to regular care and gentle ivory. That'll turn the... Tra <laughs> Something's got you worried. Pretty soon your father's going to ask me to leave. But we will leave together as soon as you're better. Because I might be jealous if you touch somebody else. Are you in pain? No. I'm so sorry, Dr. Sarah. You're good. Miss Genova, if you'd like, I have a job for you. You must help me. My daughter needs a private nurse. I don't want her admitted to the hospital. I can't take any more. I don't have any spare time. Listen, you must be careful. Some colleagues are already suspicious of what has happened with your patients. So, uh, you better leave before they find out. You must never do that again. I could crush you like a worm. Just let her leave. It will be the best for everyone. It's you who are going to leave and right away. And don't think about working in any hospital of this country. I'll scour each and every personal department. And I'll see to it that you are cut out like a cancer. And you, doctor? Did you have the approval of the families? before taking off the precious skin grafts. Who would believe you? On the other hand, I've taken the trouble of keeping an autopsy report of each patient you euthanized. I have all the proof and need only call the police. Hello? Yes, please send a taxi out here to me, Rock Hill. The Barter State. Thank you.
What did she mean with that story about Kingcrafts? Nothing. You've taken the skin of the dead. What is it? You want it to be like with Anna? That we lose Lucille too? Still, it's me. All this will pass. Pretty soon you won't resent me anymore. Lucille? Lucille, do you hear me? Give me the key. No. Give me the key. Now give me that key! <laughs> a woman in the city and I spoke to her and she spoke to me. I was in the bedroom in the darkness. They came to tell me that she there at my house and I saw her in my bed, all mine, in darkness. Thank you. 